hey guys welcome back to my channel that was loud <laughs> but as you can tell I'm excited for this video oh, you know when you want to sneeze but it doesn't come out I hate that shit anyways today I will be creating this look for you guys and incorporate <laughs> But I can't speak English and I'm going to be incorporating I don't know how to say that word incorporating the elf and iris Berlin lip palette I'm going to be swatching the shades for you not like um, individually I'm going to be mixing them and I'm going to be swatching them for you guys I really really do love this palette honestly the colors are so pigmented so creamy and it tastes like candy it touched my tongue I didn't like lick it or whatever <laughs> it touched my tongue and it tastes really good I am really really impressed with this palette and I'm impressed with the shades I created I knew I was gonna make a lip shade someday in my life <laughs> anyways since I can actually make one by myself I'm going to make one mixing colors from this palette yay anyways if you want to see how I achieve this look and all these colors right here then please keep on watching bye hey guys for brows I have a cold in case like you wonder why I sound like a man even though I actually do sound like a man <laughs> anyways I'm using the Ellie Girl Shady Shady Slim brow pencil and the shades black hmm don't judge me you can use black like when they say black, they don't actually mean black, like eyeliner, they mean like the black you can use for your brows, and black is brown. Before I do that, I'm going to prime my brows because my brows get oily as well. I'm just oily all around, you guys know. In the meanwhile, let me just prime my lips too, in it? Ew, no, not in it. Using the tart shape tape, you guys know, setting it with Laura Mercier powder, the normal. Okay, for my transition color, I'm using Frappe by Makeup Geek. Frappe. And this shade is barely showing up, but it's just to have something to blend the darker shades with. So, for the next shade, I'm using Stay Golden by ColourPop. And it's just this beautiful, I don't know why it's that color. I don't know why it's named Stay Golden, but whatever. That is going under. Hey, it's like a pinkish, um, pinkish, mm -hmm, red, or purple, I don't know, I don't know my colors, I just know the basic pink, purple, yellow. Then for the deepest purple, actually not the deepest, but the second deepest purple, I'm using Jezebel, <laughs> and it's from my... Palette is new band to by Julius Place. I know I'm using a lot of palette guys, but the look I kind of want, I have it in my head to bring it to life. I need to dig into all these palettes. You feel me? And this is just giving it a light wash to pack on this color. So I'm going to take a smaller brush so I can actually pack the color like punch on my eye like this you know like yeah uh, that ouch <laughs> when I do you over Sabi I actually mess up then for the deeper shade I'm taking Kenya from the same palette
excuse me my tart shape tape I'm going to cut the crease and of course I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier powder yeah I'm going to like you know just yeah you get all this while I thought I was recording my wing but I wasn't anyways for my lid color, I'm going to take Umi by Color Drain. Um, this, um, the glitter I'm using, you don't need to like put a base first. But my issue is, I don't like putting glitter all the way in my inner um, lid because it looks funny to me. So that's why I'm using this shadow. I'm not taking it all the way in, I'm just putting it out here. And for the glitter, I'm using the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Bronzed Bell. Then, you know I lost a little from my wing so i'm just gonna put it right back in like it never like it never left just put it right back in girl my wing today though mm. i'm going to apply my lashes and i'm using mykonos by lily lashes I'm going to use my MAC Teddy Eye Cool. I'm taking Stay Golden and Jezebel. So this is the bag, and when you open it up, ta-da! Anyways, I brought my own thingy just like the ABH, so I'm able to mix and match. Look at the colors, they're so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to be using a lip liner, so I'm just going to line my lips with bittersweet. In my mixing brush, I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix purple and this. Let's see what that's going to give us, okay? So I have both of them on my palette. I'm just going to mix them together. Ooh! Let's check some. This is so creamy. Oh girls! Wow! Look at this! Come on, girl! I knew I was destined to make a lip shade. This is so pretty. Oh! Look at this color! I didn't even. Yes. Okay. Pretend like you're classic. Guys, look at. Forget. Okay, what else should we mix? Uh -huh. Um, let's do let's do a nude. This and this. 
I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a bit of this let's see what that's that's gonna give us oh girls case honestly in this game of mixing I feel like I should shut up and not apply lipstick while I'm talking Guys, OMG, this is so pretty. Mm. You guys think this is such a pretty nude, like a coral nude. Let me strike that pose. Get up, get up, yeah, she's a dancer. Need your tunes. So I'm going to mix, hmm. I'm going to mix this color shade and this shade. You see what I call me? This and this. That's the shade I got right there. Let's take it. Oh wow, <laughs> this is like a brick color. This lip this lipsticks are so pigmented. Oh, wow. She really did a good job. Bosprit! Miguel! Miguel! Anyways, for my last mixture, because <laughs> there are not a lot of colors in here, so I can't like come up with like tons of different ones. <laughs> I'm going to mix like two like really opposite colors that you never expect. <laughs> this purple and this shade right here. Let's see what that's gonna give us. Hmm. It gave me like a pinky, the pinkish color right there. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if my lights are washing this out, but this is actually so pretty. This really goes with this look. Legendary beats. 